own sloppy returns. Right. Yeah. So in this one, you can only return one type. Yeah. You okay. could make a type that's a variant that holds ints and chars, but yeah. then you have to explicitly State say that. which one you're returning. You know, so it's like, so it's different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like cool. Camel. I'd give it, I'd, I, I would, I would definitely give it a Paul out of 10 for sure. Okay. Wait. All right. Nice. I'm hoping that after a while we give it a Tom out of 10, but we'll, we'll get there. Don't mix memes, okay? Well, he's a genius, though. He's he's everywhere. <laughs> Have you seen your YouTube comments lately, <laughs> dude? My, d there's nothing. Nothing even works anymore. My my stuff is so. Look at this. You say I put this in here. The amount of times Tom has somehow appeared, even in this <laughs> statement, is just yeah, it's yeah. just offensive. I'm sure we I'm sure we got one. I know I saw one earlier yeah. where I saw a couple like, well, he is a genius. You should do this because he's a genius. I'm like, damn it, Tom, get the hell out of here, yeah. Tom. All right. Anyways. Okay, yeah, I like show me, camel. show me. I'm ready. I, I read through some of yours already, but I want to see yours. Okay, okay. So uh, forgive me. My zigging is like not super impressive yet. I'm just learning how to do it. Uh, but here we go. So we do have tagged unions. So I can say, hey, ident oh, and int are these, whereas these aren't that. Right? They don't yep. have that. I can attach functions to it. So I have this little keyword I do love lookup. That. That's super good. That's right? great. I love hanging functions off stuff. And then apparently there's this comp time map. I don't really get what this string map. I don't really get what it does, but this is how you use oh, nice. it. It just picks like an efficient way to represent the map. Yeah. So it's like, it's a Very string cool. to what you want it to be token. And here's the cool part is notice that I'm saying the type is token here, but I'm only specifying it with a dot. Oh, so anything that leads with a dot. Oh yes, I did do a marker. Yes, I did. I did. Okay. No, I didn't. Okay. Kay. Zig. Sorry, we're gonna have to go backwards. Hey, Flip, go backwards. We're talking about Ziggur. Back in time, Flip. Back it up. Back it up, Flip. All right. Um, so yeah, anything with a dot has like this ability to infer a little bit, and so what it's inferring yep. is what what is its like type, right? It's a let, yeah. but a let of what? It's a let of token type, because yeah, I specify cool. its type right here. Super, super yeah. cool. So like this right here, since it has a dot, comp time, yep. uh, comp time string map knows effectively okay well i take in this certain struct that looks like this you're giving yep. me us you're giving me this i'll infer what it's supposed to be right so and it's, it's like, a, like your top function says that it's going to be a token so like it knows that yeah. i mean like token scope basically well, yeah it's also inferring this thing like this thing right here my guess is it's a it's a it's a it's a list of something right it takes in yeah. a key value list of any type i'm not really sure what that is okay now we got into the advanced stuff but it was able to take yeah. that and infer it correctly which is super cool i like that stuff yep. Uh, it's it, cool. It has a bunch of the very useful items, like is alphabetic, yep. is digit. Um, yep. There you go. So this is my first. This is like the first struct where I'm referencing stuff. So this is all private material because I haven't announced that it's public. You yep. refer to yourself as a type with this. So this is a compiler yep. macro, kind of weird, right? Uh, yeah, I I have seen that before. I'm still a little. I I'd really love to read like Andrew's thoughts. Like why did they not just make self a keyword? Yeah, it is. It is a little bit strange. Like, why capital S self is the convention, and then there's this. Like, I think you're you're allowed to technically go uh, this at this. Yeah, yeah. But it seems like people you're supposed to do this. Don't, I think there's a reason why, but I don't know why. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So you see this. This all looks good, right? It can. It's all. It's all. Oh, the stuff someone says in Zig every struct field is public. They're all public. Okay, I thought there was uh, some something to do with because you can have private functions by not specifying pub on them. Yeah, uh, I'd have to go double check that. I thought that I thought yeah, that there's some change to that. Maybe uh, fields are always public, but functions are yeah uh, can be private. That would make yeah. sense. Okay. Um, that but there you go. So you can do like we can do that. We we're trying to use this. It all does looks like good. what happens when you put nothing in those? It gets set to initialize the zero values. Well, I specify the zero value right here. Oh, okay. So cool. I specified it right there. If you there. don't do that, does the, it not let you do it? Yeah. So if you go like this. It will then, yeah. uh, there's no, uh, it's it's not the greatest. I'm not going to yeah, lie yeah, to you. That's, that's not the uh, greatest. Uh, what is it? Zig build. Can I do this here? I think it should yell at me, or I just got something random in there. Uh, oh, it can't find any source. Oh, because I don't have it named source. I only have it named Lexer. Dang it. Move. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Uh, make dir, uh, source. Move Lexer to source. There we go. Move main to source. Sorry, now zig build. Okay, uh, wait, really? Zig run? Okay, maybe it just uses the the, uh, the gosh gosh knows what values. I don't know. Okay, there's no root in here. I never mind. I have no idea how that that's working. Okay. I thought that would uh, it must use whatever the value is at the memory then. 
classic C style, right? Vegan just wanted you to know that that's easier on Windows. So, whatever. I'm still getting new to this, okay? I'm still really new to this whole thing. I'm explaining it out loud and realizing how yeah, little no, I that's actually good. I was just wondering. Yeah, I'm, it's okay if we don't know. I was just wondering. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> skip white space. Obvious yep. how that works. So, this is pretty cool. You, you, get, you do get pattern matching to a level, which right. is kind of interesting. So it's it's some but you level. can't like unpack from inside of a struct with it like matching something, right? I don't think you can do that as far as I can tell. Okay. You, can, you can do some level of match grouping, but I don't know if you can unpack a struct and then do a guard clause. I don't think you okay. can do a guard clause, and so that that's that's something I don't quite understand. Again, look at this. We're using dot illegal, and based yep. on the uh, type right here, right. it knows it's token. Yep. It knows that it's a very token cool. and doing all that's that. That's like very similar to like what I was saying for OCaml with how you can do like semicolon, and it knows like the name. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else that's kind of neat about this? There's nothing in here that's really showing off uh, anything cool. These are called match groups, or uh, this yep. is called a capture. It's pretty cool. So this thing goes yep. over every token and then gives you each one right here. You could also do that with a switch statement. So if you had, uh, can you unpack like in the capture? Like let's say you, it was like yeah. a tuple. Can you do? Okay. So cool. this one right here. So this int. So if I were to, if if we were matching over tokens, which I think I don't have any tokens being matched here. Yeah, uh, probably not till parser. So if I were to do some sort of switch talk. I could, uh, oh, you always have to do that. So if I were to switch on the token, I could technically do like an int, and then I'd do yep. this, and then I could have the value of it right here. And then oh, I could cool. say, okay. this is what it is. And yeah. so you can do that. So it's kind of it's kind of a neat principle. Yep. And so yeah, I, you can do that. You can do that in OCaml with as, which is kind of cool. So you can like pick part of the expression that you're matching. And you can say like, you know, so let's say you have like some nested structure and like down in the structure is the identifier that you actually want to pull out. You can like mm -hmm. pull out that token ident as ident or something like that and like pull it out completely, which is really cool. Okay. It like makes it really expressive to write the, the case statements, right? Yeah. Which is sweet. So yeah. Zig overall, cool. it's it's neat, right? As you can see right here, it's able to infer because I'm using this to infer yep. that now we're going to say, hey, ident equals 10. And so it's able to infer yep. that it's a token. I thought that was a little bit weird because I thought I could just do this at first, but that's right. not. That makes sense. That you, that can't. you can't. You can't do that. So you have. So to what is it. when you defined ident? What does it look like? Where you define like the actual token for ident? Okay, sweet. So, there so you they go. only have one. They just have one thing that they can be. So it's like ident, and then you would define like some struct inside here, and then you would yeah. do the same thing all the other times. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. So that's why let. It, you don't need to put anything for let, even though it's an let, yep. right? You you just know and in, yep. inherently all that. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I enjoyed yeah, it's it. Cool. Yeah. It's not. I, I like I, it. I thought I, I watched you write the Zig one, some of it, some of it, and I thought it was good. I I don't know if I love Zig. I don't know if I can love Zig. Yeah. But I like, I like it, and so that's kind yeah. of where I'm at. OCaml looks interesting. I feel I feel like I what I want is the expressiveness of Rust without Rust. And yeah. So I feel like Zig doesn't quite. No have lifetimes. It. No lifetimes. No lifetimes. Yeah, because so, it's just garbage collected, right? So yeah. it's nice. And so I don't really know. I don't know where I'm at yet. And so that that's the real yeah. answer is like, how do I feel? What do I rate Zig as? Is it's still a question mark in my mind. You get to just say question mark? You've made me think of things every single time. TJ, I'm your elder, and I need you to just respect <laughs> okay, me. Dan. Okay, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to respect me right now. <laughs> oh, offensive. that is true, though. Uh... We there is some sweet proposals. I'll send them to you later. That you might enjoy reading them for OCaml to add some of the like stuff for us, where you basically can like opt into lifetimes for some aspects. So the garbage collector can be really um, aggressive like, and smart. Yeah, and, or like it can just not put them on the heap. It'll just put them on the stack, like for different, which is like hard to do for yeah. like those kinds of languages, right? Because normally you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. So I can send them to you later. It's really cool. Okay. Oh, it's that one. That's the Data Race Freedom one. It's a super interesting article. Uh, but anyways. Awesome. Uh, again, didn't realize this tweet was going to blow up so much. <laughs> <laughs> now they might see it. No, they won't. They really well, someone they on have... the team might see it and be like, dude, I work on VS Code. Why are you guys talking to Prime? He hates our guts. <laughs> he bleeps us on stream. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. Uh, well, actually, we're going to cut it here. It's been a super long stream. Uh, I didn't yeah. mean to stream for three hours. I got to get going. So Me neither. 
it's yeah. my first day back from vacation i gotta go to work <laughs> i know i gotta go to work too <laughs> so this was fun this was really really good thank you so much for doing this um i really enjoyed this whole uh this whole you know experience yeah maybe we need to finish off 